Hello and welcome. Today we are checking out Allurus. This is being developed by 562 Interactive. Set to come out here in uh, pretty soon, I do believe, here on Steam. I don't have, actually have a date, but uh, I think within the next few days or weeks or so. Uh, there is a demo, however, available, which we're checking out here. This is a uh, like a fantasy adventure game where uh, kind of a choose-your-own-adventure style thing where we are a hero, well, we're an adventurer anyway, and we're venturing off into the land, and we're going to be presented with with uh, some scenarios and we get to choose we get two options for each of these scenarios and then it kind of continues us down this quest or this line of, of story uh if you remember reigns which was popular i think one or two years ago where you get you kind of swipe the card left or right it's kind of like that in a uh, in a D, D like adventure story kind of a thing anyway let's check it out uh i'll have a link to the steam page below that's already set up the demo if you want to do that you have to go to their discord which I'll put a link to that too if you want to check that out and pick up this demo. So, um, as far as what I've got so far, there's not a lot to choose from. We can be human. There's a lot of other things that are locked, however. I played for probably about 20 minutes or so. I ended up, I was, uh, I got married to the noble. I became a noble myself and I, uh, I, I killed a kraken in, in all it. So I did a lot of things in, in my playthrough and I still didn't unlock everything. I did unlock, uh, well, I can be, you know, uh, gender race, race is not locked, but I did unlock, normally farmer is the base thing, I did however unlock a couple things here, I unlocked the noble background, which will give you more cash, or the wizard background, which of course we're going to be choosing, and my name is going to be Adwin Strongjaw, perfect, alright, so let's begin and see what uh, what's happening here. Welcome to the Allurus demo. Most of the world has been blocked off for this short play experience. If you encounter any bugs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, it's my birthday, apparently. I have 66 health. I'm level 7 already. Uh, and I have 80 gold and 1 karma, apparently. I am enlightened. Normally, with, uh, when you start out as farmer, you're nobody. Uh, I have magical powers. I'm a human, and I am a male. It's day zero. You've come of an adventuring age. Your uncle offers to take you to Allurus to sell an artifact he has found. We can choose. Do we want to go ahead? All right, uncle, we're going to go. Or we say, no, no, uncle, I'm going to go on my own. Okay, we'll go with our uncle. Sure. Two of you load up the cart and head out, taking the road to Allurus. The cart is attacked by an orc. Your uncle yells for you to run. No, 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 no. I'm a wizard. We can help fight or we can go get help. No, no, we help. Your uncle takes a bad hit, but the two of you destroy the creature. Your uncle remarks that the creature must have come from the mountains. There's a rumor that Baron Dread is building an army up there. Alright, welcome to Allurus. Before you stands the city of Allurus. We can bring your uncle to the tavern, or leave your uncle at guard, and just head out. No, no, we'll take the uncle to the tavern. You know, we're not that kind of guy. Drag your uncle to the tavern. He tells you that someone will need to stop Baron Dread before he marches on Allurus. They'll need to be extremely powerful, though. Uncle is injured, but we are here in the city of Allurus. There's kids screaming in the background. Uh, at the tavern, night sleep. We can go uh, get a room with uncle to help him get patched up, or just hang out in the tavern. Uh, let's just hang out in the tavern. We're not that hurt. Uncle heads upstairs. You wave goodbye and hang out in the tavern. Listening to the chatter, he was right. People seem to think Baron Dread is building an army. He will destroy Allurus in 800 days. That's a long time. Okay, so we're still hanging out here in the tavern. We can hang out more or we can go somewhere else. Let's just hang out. As you sit with the drink, one of the stuffed heads adorning the walls begins to scream. It leaps off the wall and attacks other patrons. It's a stuffed head, an evil enchanted head in a tavern. Hero time. We can do magic powers and dispel the enchantment, or just run outside with a crowd. No, no, we'll dispel it. We're a hero. Quick wave of your hand. The re head returns to its inanimate state. Innkeeper gives you a small pouch of gold for working so quickly. Thanks, buddy. All right, I guess we're outside here. Captain of the Guard, uh, uh, armored man approaches you, demanding uh, information about the Undercity. Uh, no idea what that is. Never heard of it. Um, never heard of it. Straightens his jacket and apologizes, marching off to harass the next pedestrian. Shady figure walks up to you and offers you whatever he has in his pocket for a price. Hey, what's the worst that could happen? Shady figure hands you, uh, takes your coin and hands you a set of dimensional shackles. Thanks, buddy. Okay, time to head back onto the road or stay a little longer in town. Hey, well, let's head out. Looks like a good spot to do some hunting. Sure, sure. After a small search, you don't eat anything. All right. We found ourselves an aerodynamic stone. Try to pick it up with our magical powers or ignore it. Let's pick it up. You find it easy to lift the boulder. It flies into the air, far out of sight. Okay. Uh, we're back to Allurus. We're walking in circles, apparently. Let's uh, let's just keep on walking. The mountain pass is carved, is caved in. The rocks seem to spell demo. Uh, let's climb over the rock side. Try to get some footing, but these rocks are unclimbable. Something or someone really doesn't want you to get there. Yeah, demo stuff. Find some brightly covered berries. Eat them or leave them? Oh, of course we're going to eat them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good berries. 
So you can see on the side here we have gained the dimensional shackles. As we pick things up, they will sort of show up here on the side. We have come across a fruit side road cart. Uh, these will fill up with uh, with some goods as well. This game is is I think it's on. Uh, I, uh, I think it's on mobile. I'm pretty sure it's on, uh, I'm almost positive it's on Xbox PS4 as well, or going to be at least. Um, I should know this stuff before I start doing videos, but I'm pretty sure it's more than just PC. All right. Uh, roadside food cart. Food cart, not a foot cart. I'll take some food. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll take some fruit. Spent some cash, filled my health up, which I was already healed anyways. Delicious fresh fruit. Welcome to the town of Bradford. Sure, we'll go to Bradford. We come across a group of town monks. Uh, donate or... Uh, sure, sure. Have some money. Oh, to the tavern. Sure, let's get a room in the tavern. And we'll hang out in that tavern. Cloaked man catches your eye. He stands and quickly walks to you, handing you a letter and kneeling over. Dead. You pull the back... Pull back the hood. He has the red skin of some kind of demon. Careful printed letter. Maybe it will explain. Yeah, yeah, read it. The letter says that the man was Adam Carcius, and you don't have much time. His daughter was kidnapped by Baron Dred's men and taken to the mountains. You can close a, a map. Please save her. A powerful wizard is standing there. You meet a strange wizard. He tells you that uh, true heroes create peace, not war. Then he disappears. It's random. Old kook, they're called warriors. Warrior. <laughs> uh, what a random statement. Sentiment. Sure, sure. Back to the road. Uh, let's stay here a little longer. You see a distracted mar street merchant. You could swipe some of those wares. Oh, yeah, I bet I could. Draw attention to the booth. No, no, steal the goods. As you reach for the treasure, he spins around with a new piece to put out. You both pause for a moment of surprise, but as, he, as you start to run away, he catches you in the back of the head with a metal vase. Ouch. Farmer asks around for a few days to help in his field. He'd pay well enough. Uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a wizard. He shows you to a field. A few casts of animate object later, our army of broomsticks made short work of the harvest. Thanks you profusely and hands off his savings. Thanks, buddy. You are offered a chance to buy a fine horse. Oh, yeah, of course I want a horse. Pay the stable master your coin and grab a reins of a new horse. Hey, look at that. That's a zebra. That's a zebra. <laughs> uh, drinking tournament. There's a drinking tournament in the nearby tavern. Laughter echoes into the rural streets. Oh, yeah, bring it on. You dive into the contest with hearty effort. After two hours, you cling to the consciousness while the last competitor falls. You lift the golden drinking belt. Long reign of the champion. Oh, yeah, that's me. That's me. There we go. We got it on our... Uh, put that on our, uh, our chest or something. More monks? Uh, fine, fine. Uh, yeah, let's leave town. Uh, good place to do some, some hunting. Um, uh, sure, sure. Hey, we actually got something. Back to Aluris. No, no, no. Forget Aluris. Roadside food cart. What about that map where we've got, uh, you know, uh, Baron Doom? Uh, I don't need any fruit. Uh, just a common pack of rats. Let's attack him, run away. No, attack him. We got him. They hit us for three, but we, we smashed him. Two men are arguing. They each point at each other, claiming each is the real one. Neither of you are real. Men glance at each other. They yell that one of them must be. Maybe you're not. They attack you. But I survived. I took a bit of a beating there. Walk down the road. You come across a carefully prepared picnic a basket of fruit. Sure, I'll take it. There's a tree in the road. My tamed horse can, can tie it away. Or leave it behind. It looks like someone else's problem. No, no, no. Use our horse. He's getting some experience there. Horse makes quick work of the log in the way. Uh, back to Bradford again. No, no, no. Upon a river. Sure, let's go fishing. Worthless junk. Um, a, what was that? A merchant whose cart has fallen apart. Sure, you want me to help you fix it, buddy? Quick wit, you desive, uh, devise an easy way to reassemble the merchant's cart. He gives you some of his wares for free. Yes, thanks. Thanks, buddy. An injured gypsy woman. Leave the old hag behind. No, no, no. You're uh, welcome along. Path into the forest looks overgrown with the word demo. Fight our, the vines. Uh, no, no, we can't go in there. Oh, I guess we can go in there. There's farmers hiding on the roadside. Something looks like that spooked these folks. Follow their frantic pointing, or that's their problem. No, no, where are you? what's wrong, buddy, guys? An ore crawler. Challenge level 5. Unsettling creature. Gross. No, 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 fight. That hurts. Smash the creature. The farmers are safe from its unholy scuttling. Though they don't have any gold to pay you, instead they take this, you take this barrel there it was wearing. Oh, I got a barrel. Uh, let's stop back in Allura's here, I guess. And uh, maybe we can heal up a little bit. Drop the gypsy woman off in town. Um, sure, sure. I kind of want to keep her with me, but we could we could keep her. Ah, no, go ahead. You stay here. Next, you hands you some coin, then disappears in one of the alleyways. Town merchant offers to buy my treasure. Here's my treasure right over here. Sure. There you go, buddy. 
Oh, that shady figure's back. Last time it was good. Takes your coin before running away, cackling like the crazy lunatic he is. Oh, can I lightning bolt him? Room for the night? Yeah, let's do that so we can get some patching up here. Uh, hang out in the tavern. Anything new? Old sailor approaches you. He needs a guard for his ex expedition in the sea to test some sort of diving apparatus. Uh, promises to pay well for a guard, but it might be dangerous. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Leads you on his ship. His crew loads up for an ocean voyage. An older man carts a metal diving suit onto the ship. What'd you just sign up for? Ship passes over a delectable school of fish. Sure, sure, let's eat some fish. Oh, we don't need that. Deploy a net and scoop up some of the school. Some of the quick seasoning. They make a great snack. Crazy old man declares this is the perfect spot to try out his suit. It doesn't look that good to me, or uh, toss me in. Sure, sure, toss me in. As you sink into the black abyss, you feel a powerful mind pushing its way inside your head. An ancient god blinks before you. It offers power. Never? Why would I say never? I'll take it. You shall be my agent of change upon the world. The massive voice echoes. In a flash of dark purple, you find yourself being pulled back up, but you're unable to explain what you saw. I've been, I've been given more magical powers, apparently, and I'm now corrupted. On the horizon sits our Loris. Time to head back. No, no, no. Let's stay out in the ocean. Oh, okay. I did this before. The Kraken. Deadly sea monster wraps its tentacles onto the boat. Fight or panic? Fight! Oh, that hurts. You help the crew in an epic fight to slay the Kraken. When it's over, the boat is filled with more squid meat than could ever be eaten. Let's eat some, uh... I don't know why we could eat fish. There's meat everywhere. Uh, do we want to dive some more? Sure, sure. Sharp, uh, shapes dart in the, dank, in the dark around you. When you touch the bottom, an aggressive naga reveals itself. Uh, get me out of here. Fight. Take that. Um, let's go a little more longer. Let's go fish. Sure. Yeah, yep. Dive again. Sure, sure. Uh, aggressive naga again. Let's kill that naga. Get him. More fish. Sure. Uh, dive again. Sure. Uh, underwater treasure. Grab it. Peek one of the chests. A baby kraken leaps out, slapping you as it floats away. Crew pulls you back up. What, no treasure? All right, let's go back to let's go back home. Bring the ship back into port. When you ask about payment, the captain says you can keep any treasure you found, but the exposure from this will be great. I didn't get any treasure. Hmm. I got some levels, I guess. A shady figure walks up to you and offers you what he has in his pocket. Uh, oh, I'm corrupted now. Beat him up and take it anyway. Oh yeah, take it. You receive some dirty oh dirty beans. Uh, place your beans here. Sure. Plant the beans. Maybe someday they'll grow up big and strong. All right, we're back at the tavern. We had a room with our corrupted selves. Innkeeper thinks you look like trouble. He slips him some extra coin and he sneaks you into one of those worst rooms. Can we kill him? Hang out in the tavern. Chat around all day and find don't find any work. A group of sailors hanging out. Sushi. Almost for free. Uh, no, no thanks. Let's stay in town. Now oh, the fair is here. There's a large fair going on. Do you attend? Sure, why not? Archery contest? I'll give it a go. Definitely shoot the bullseye earning you cash prize. Small stand with many mugs of mead catches your eye. Sure, I'll take a drink. Rich flavor of honey is worth the coin. Play the ring toss? Sure. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm magical. Throw the rings, adjusting them midair with some subtle cantrips. You win a cash prize for your skill. Look at that, I'm a ring toss champion. Comically oversized cannon. Seems dangerous. Volunteer to be launched out of it. <laughs> sure, sure. You hurl through the air and land perfectly in the center of a hay bale with a bullseye on it. I'm a fair cannon champion. Sword exhibition. A few of the more pompous attendees appear to be preparing for a swordplay expedition. Uh, exhibition. Whenever I did my... I did a couple different test games. But the first one I did lasted like two minutes. I brought my uncle in. We headed into town. First thing we came across was a fair. And the first thing that happened was we had a sword ex exhibition. And I thought, sure, let's play. And I died immediately. <laughs> so this time we did a little better. We're a little higher level this time. I was just a measly farmer level one. Show off your skills in, another, in a mock combat with a fair goer. Take a few cuts, but remain standing victorious. There we go. Um, sure. You know what? I haven't got any quests yet. Um, let's see at the fair. What else do we have here? A jousting tournament. I have a horse. I have a horse. Join the tournament. You uh, get a few bruises, but we are now the fair jousting. There's no one else really in this town doing any sort of contest. It's all really just us. Mead, sure. Mead. Uh, back to yeah. Let's go back to town. That shady guy is here. Can I just beat him up again? Ooh, a soul stone. What's that going to do for me? Before leaving him in the gutter. Old shopkeeper offers you a deal on an old loot. Sure. Pay the shopkeeper receive, uh, receive your loot. It's beautiful, but you have no idea how to play. 
We well, got one, though. Let's go visit the tavern again. And let's hang out here. Anything else? Peruse the bulletin board. There's a personal ad for a healthy young adventure. Shouldn't eat too much garlic. They promise a fun time and aren't picky about gender. <laughs> okay. Uh, meet them in their private grotto in the forest. Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's let's head out. Where's a private grotto? Is this it? Find some brightly covered berries. I'm eating them. Good berries. Mountain pass is caved in. Rock spell uh, demo. Climb over? No, we can't go there. Oh, a bear appears from behind a bush. Oh, I have a fruit basket. Give the bear your picnic basket. A fruit. A picnic basket? Bear loves your picnic basket and starts following you. We got a bear companion. Mm, there we go. Pecker rats. Eat them. Yogi. Back to Bradford. What about this, uh, the, the vampire? Where'd he go? Keep walking. I don't want to go there. With a fruit cart. No, no, I'm good. River, sure. I'll go fish. Uh, the nose I won't follow. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Path in the forest looks over with the word demo. Fight the vines. Merchant cart. Oh, fix it? Sure, fix it. I'm getting a lot of similar things here again. Keep walking. Let's see if we can get some, some like, uh, there's, like, there's caves and things out here. Let's see if we can find one. Oh, your bear leads you to a tree with a beehive in it. Try to get some honey from the tree. Leave the honey for the bees. No, 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 we'll take some honey. Seems to have upset the bees, but you grab some honey and continue on your journey. There you go, buddy. Ah, a cave entrance. This is what I was looking for. Let's enter the cave. Ancient ruins. You find collapsed ruins. A stone tablet stands demo written on the surface. Let's dig through the stones. Leave the collapsed stone out of the way. Behind each stone, you find another tablet etched in with the word demo. All right, we got a cute cave bug in here. Sure, sure. Smash it down. Lost at one hit point. As you tip and strike the beast, its form vanishes. Disappointed wizard of peace stands in its place. Wizard of peace? Is that who I am? Oh, him. Him, right. Uh, he's the wizard of peace. It's a random wizard from town. Was this a test? Attack the wizard too. Peace is a difficult thing, he starts, as you stab the man through the chest. Such a fool to come bother an adventure in the middle of a dungeon crawl. <laughs> Assailed by the bony boys. Oh uh, yeah, fight him. Pack of rats, take him out. Back to the road. No, no, stay here. Scorpion. Stab it. Screaming snail. Snail that screams like a man. Fight it. Ooh, treasure. There we go. Treasure, treasure, treasure. Cute cave bug again. Kill hit. Kill it. They like to steal things, and they have things to steal. Got that cobalt. Back to the road. No, no, stay here. More ancient ruins. More snails. More skeletons. More scorpions. Rats. How long can we stay here? Assume as long as we have, uh, as long as we have health. Ancient ruins, which is not in the game yet. I don't know that the uh, the whole um, Baron guy is actually here. I'm thinking maybe he's not around. A bridge troll. He would cross the must answer these three questions. I shall answer your questions. What is your name? My name is my name in common is High Al or High Alurian. What? I don't know that. Troll stumbles off the bridge and is swept down river. Seems you're free to go. Okay. There's another forest thing. Uh, merchant cart. Sure, let me help you out, buddy. Back to Alluris. Offers to buy all your coin. I got a lot of coins. A lot of treasure. There we go. Back to the fair. No, 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 no. I got better things to do. Uh, let's go ahead and rest. In the bad room. Hang out here. Rumor charges in the tavern screaming about a fallen star in the forest. Someone should retrieve it. I'll do that. Beat this guy up real quick. Dirty beans. Uh, can we go, um... Can we go out to the forest and do, uh, something? Good berries. Tree in the road. Look at that out of the way. Wizard's duel in the road. A pair of robed figures hurl spells at each other, completely blocking the road. Slowly walk around, or magical powers. Masters, this is not the place. They see the carts waiting to pass and stop the duel, apologizing. They cast a small healing spell on everyone waiting. I was hoping to fight them. Uh, keep walking around those mountains, I guess. There's a cave there. We've done caves before. Back to Bradford. Anything new here? We got a lot of quests this time. Uh, steal his stuff? Yeah, yeah. Huh. Sneak up and palm a piece of treasure without catching any eyes. There we go. A homely maiden. No woman has seen your wealth. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? Marry her. Am I home? I got a homely wife. Find those beans. Buy my coins? Sure, you can have them. Uh, I'll stay a little in town a little longer. Is my is my wife going to hang around a little bit? Monks bring out a small box as a thanks for your donation. Give you the legendary holy hand grenade. Oh, oh yeah? The holy hand grenade? 
Yeah, let's drink. Dive into the effort with... Yeah. Yeah, drinking champion again. Back to the tavern. What do we have here? Things look like trouble. Yeah, yeah. One more. Hang out one more time. Pulls into uh, the side room, explains that tavern basement has a rat problem. If you could quickly handle them, he'd pay you discretion. Before you answer, the barkeep pushes you toward the cellar. Um, I'll take him. Okay, thank you. Um, what else is here in town? Oh, that same that guy. Uh, I'll, let me show you your stuff. Right at the front of the bra the booth, uh, expects, uh, inspects some of the items he has on display. After a moment, he realizes this error and uh, thanks you. Uh, you know what? Get away, monks. Leave me alone, farmer. Uh, sure, I'll drink. Um, I want to see if I can get another quest here. Old man takes a suit at your table and offers a job. He needs an old mill on the road cleared out, filled with ghosts. I was a little in the way of details, but insists it's a le his legal property. I will rid the mill of ghosts. Let's head out of town. Picnic basket, I'll take it. Rats, get out of the way. Fruit cart. Uh, no, no, I don't need any fruit. I don't need to go with the cave. I'm looking for a mill. No thanks. Looking for a mill. Looking for a mill. Oh, beehive again. No, I don't need that. Leave the honey for the bees. Kill that bird. Take that. Pass that one. I'm not looking for a mill. I don't think we're going to find it. Oh, there it is. You see the old mill on the side of the road. Let's go have a look. As you push inside, a booing sound grows. Several ghosts of young children fill the room. One of the ghosts grazes an old cane in your direction and points towards Allurus. So I did this quest before. And there's two choices. You can grab the cane and slowly walk away, or you can fight the thing. I took the cane last time and just gave it back to the guy. I'm going to fight him this time. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> nothing happens. Uh, were we in Allurus? I think we were. Let's go into the city. And, um... No, get out of the way. Where's the, um... Where's the guy we need to talk to? Is he in the... There you go. Return to the old man who owns the mill. All clear? Why well, clear out the ghost? Uh, yeah, all clear. Old man gives you a grumpy nod and slides a small stack of coins to you. He stands up and stomps away. Hmm. Okay. I guess we can go back out to the ocean. Let's go. Back out here again? Okay. I think we've seen we've seen a lot of the, the demo stuff. The only thing I did before, I think I got, uh, I got, well, I got married by, um, uh, actually, the prince. I think I was playing the female character before. I got married by a prince. It's very exciting, and I was noble and all that. But, um, there we go. There's Allurus. It is, uh, it's available on, there's a demo out there. I'll put a link below, and you can check it out. Thanks again for watching. Hero Gallery, do we have anything here? Um, oh, that's my death. I don't have my, um, is that my, oh yeah, there we go. There's my person, before. I was, uh, married to Prince Bradford. My name was Titus Carlu. What about this, this, who was the one I just played? I guess I'm not here yet, because I'm not technically dead. Anyway. There's the game. Thanks again for watching. And I will see you next time.